Hi there. I'm training to be an end time survivor, exploring ways to listen and learn so that I can live through difficult times ahead and inspire others to do the same. In this video, I want to share about the importance of being part of a community, especially in light of where things are heading globally at the moment. Hebrews 10 verse 25 includes this instruction to the church. Do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhort one another so much more as you see the day approaching. Many people wrongly assume that the word assemble means getting together once or twice a week for a church meeting. But what it actually means is living together. In Acts 11 verse 26, it says that Christians assemble together for a whole year. Wow, that would be one very long church service. No, they were living together in community full time. This is further supported by a description of them in Acts 2 verses 44 and 45. Acts 4, 31 to 35 shows just how much unity and power these communities had. They shared all they owned and they distributed their wealth to those in need. It is no surprise that great grace was upon them as a result. Today, being a Christian is all about squeezing God into leftover bits of one's normal life. But I think the example of the early church is the standard by which we are supposed to live. Jesus told us to love others the way he loved us. This kind of love shares everything we have with others. Falling away from this vision has hampered the power and grace that we have today. I believe that world events are soon going to force us to change. One day soon, everyone will need a mark in their hand in order to buy or sell. It will force believers to survive on the margins, trusting God for our provision. This will necessitate us sharing resources with fellow believers. The prophet Joel said, in the last days, God will pour out his spirit on all flesh. That was partially fulfilled on the day of Pentecost, but I believe there is a further outpouring yet to come and that it is connected with a willingness to live in community with other believers. Jesus said that he would be wherever two or three people are gathered together in his name. When we are isolated from each other for most of the week, we do not experience Christ's power. However, unity with other believers brings a power that is lacking elsewhere today. As the world gets darker, as the love of many grows cold, and as the deceptions of the system get more sophisticated, we are going to need more help. A 24-7 mutual support system could be the answer. Finding other people of conscience is going to become a necessity for survival. The word community comes from having common unity. This means giving our all to God and then others. The more we do this, the more prepared we will be to face the challenges in our path. We may be surprised at who we end up living and working with in the future. We will, no doubt, need plenty of patience and open-mindedness. We will need to let differences sort themselves out over time. But as we do this, we will also become a light to the world, inspiring others with what it really means to follow Jesus. Leaders in the end time movement will not wait until they are forced into community by circumstances. They will explore and experiment with communal living now, ahead of time. Embracing community willingly is far better than being forced into it through circumstances. As the slogan goes, united we stand, divided we fall. It's time to unite. Thank you.